In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets to calculate descriptive statistics for your data. This is going to be a really powerful trick whenever you're going to start any sort of analysis and need to calculate these statistics. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back, and in order to get this video started, I am just going to orient you to the sheet. So what you'll see here is on the left-hand side, we have our data set. So for this particular data set, we have an athlete name, a date, and then um, a bench press value for that athlete. Um, and you can see that we have several different um, measurements for that data. Now, it really doesn't matter what the data set is. We can use any data set, really, but we need something in order to calculate out these statistics. From there, what I'm going to show you how to do is calculate out the mean, median, mode, range, standard deviation, and sample size. Now here I have what is actually being measured by each of these values, and we'll go through this with a little bit more detail as we calculate them out. In order to make this a little bit easier, the first thing that I actually want to do is take this data here and I want to give it its own name so that I can refer to that data whenever we're writing some of these formulas. So the best way to do that is I'm just going to select this column and I'm going to go to data and I'll select name range and I'm just going to call this data. You'll see here on the on the right hand side and we know that our data travels from basically C2 all the way down C and I want to leave the the last value here open so that if I were to add any values here at the bottom, they would be automatically included in our values or in our data set rather. So that's the first thing we're going to do and now we are able to reference that at all times. Now to give you an idea of how this data works, once we've created this name range, what I can do is just type something like equals array formula and then open that up. I'll type data inside of it. And if I close that off, what you're going to see is it actually gives me all of that data. This is important because we're going to use this named range of data to calculate all of our statistics. So for the first statistic here, we're going to calculate the mean. I'm just going to bold that. And basically what the mean is, is just our average value. So we're just going to take all of these data, these data points and find the average. So the formula for that just looks like this. It goes equals average. When I open this up, I'm going to do it on the data set and it's going to give me my average when I hit enter. So equals average and then data. The second one, I'll bold that, is the median value. So the median value refers to the very middle value from the data set. So it will often be different than the average, but it is the exact kind of middle value. If I were to sort these from biggest to smallest, it's that value that falls right in the middle of the sort. So in order to get the median, what we want to type is equals median and then open that up and it's going to ask me what my values are and I'm going to type data and then hit enter. So in this case it's very much the same, but in some data sets you'll see that the median and the mean values are actually different. Ours only varies by about 0.75. The next one that we're going to calculate is the mode. And to calculate the mode, um, this is the value that appears most often in your data set. So it's the one um, that you'll see kind of most often. And this can be a useful statistic when we're kind of figuring out what values are common in our data set. So what I'll type is equals mode, and then I'll type in data. And you can see 111 appears most often, so it's there, it's there, um, there's another one there, so on and so forth. So that's the mode. Now, the next thing we'll calculate is the range. And this is basically the distribution between the top and the bottom value, or the min and the max. So what this looks like is I'll type equals max data and then subtract equals, or sorry, subtract min data. So what we're doing here is taking the max of the data and then subtracting the min of that data. When I hit enter, you can see that there is 189 kind of pounds between our lowest value and our highest value. The next one will be the standard deviation. So this is um, 
basically a measurement of the spread of the data. So to, to calculate the standard deviation, we type equals STDEV and then open this up and I'm going to type data. So this is 52.454. Um, so if we were to go from the mean, we know that most of our data would fall within plus or minus one standard deviation. Um, and then almost all of our data would fall within plus or minus three standard deviations unless there are any outliers. Finally, we're going to calculate the sample size. So this is actually how many values we have in our data set. And to do this, we'll type equals count A. So this is the number of values in a data set. I'm going to open that up and type in data. And that will give me the number of records that are in the data set. So this was just a quick tutorial to teach you how to use some of the descriptive statistics in Google Sheets. Whenever we start any deeper analysis, it's always important to get um, the measurement of our descriptive statistics so that we can refer back to them um, during most of our formulas and other things that we might have to calculate. So I hope this video helps you out. If it does, please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.